Hey Busy Bees, today I am back with another soup recipe that I know you guys are gonna love, but I've partnered with Green Chef here to show you how it can be done. As a new mom, I can't always make it out to eat at the restaurant, but with Green Chef here, I can have gourmet meals prepared in the comfort of my own home. We're gonna be making a butternut squash black bean chili. That sounds so comforting and delicious. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe below and we'll go ahead and get started with the preparation. This box right here comes with three different dishes and there's two servings per. Let's see what we have here some organic tortillas, organic black rice pad thai noodles. So in this meal kit, I ordered the butternut squash chili, harissa roasted carrots, and a Thai portobello steak. All of these meals are gluten free. And that's what I really love about Green Chef is everything is certified organic and you have a choice between gluten free, paleo, keto, omnivore, vegetarian. They pretty much have meal plans that caters to like all different lifestyles. I ordered the gluten free box right here cause I'm trying to go low carb and just uh, be a little healthier. Kale, more kale, and everything else that I need to use for my chili. So you guys, I know you are really concerned about all the plastic, but after I use them, I will be sure to recycle the plastic, so don't worry. So here are all the ingredients that I need for the butternut squash black bean chili. I have all the ingredients already pre-measured and laid out here. And what's really cool is there's a step-by-step -step guide with photos that I can follow along. All right, so it says first I need to prep my squash and tortillas. So let's do that. So I've already preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And now I'm just gonna take the corn tortillas and make tortilla strips. Here I have a few tortillas that I'm just gonna cut in half. I like my tortilla strips kind of small, so I'll cut it in half again. And then I'll just cut it into strips. Perfect. Separate them. Any large ones I'll just cut in half again. Great, now I'll just spread it onto my baking sheet. Add a drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix it around. And bake it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. While the tortilla strips are baking in the oven, I'm gonna prep the butternut squash. I'm gonna peel it, remove the seeds, and then grate it with my box cutter with the large holes. All right, that should be good. And that's all the prep that's needed. My tortilla strips should be about done now, so I'm gonna pull them out. The tortilla strips are nice and crispy, and they're gonna be so perfect as a topping. Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> So everything is ready to go inside our chili pot. I have the ingredients all laid out and now I'm just gonna start cooking. First, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil into my pot on medium high heat. I'll let it heat up and then I'm gonna add the red onions and garlic directly in there. I love that it already comes pre-chopped and measured for me. Mm, smells really good too. Season it with salt and pepper and saute it for about two minutes. Next, I'll add the roasted red bell peppers. Stir that around for a minute. Now I'll dump in my grated squash, stir it around, and I'll let that cook for another two minutes. To finish it off, I'll add the beans, the adobo seasoned tomatoes to the pot, and two cups of water. Then I'll crumble the vegetable bouillon over the soup, 
Stir it around until the bouillon's completely dissolved. So I brought the chili to a low boil and now I'm just gonna cover it. Turn the heat down to about medium low and let it simmer for about 15 minutes until the flavors fully meld. This looks so vibrant and beautiful. Oh, and it smells amazing. The chili is done and I'm ready to serve. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna ladle a nice helping into my bowl. Now for the toppings, I'll add the tortilla strips. Some cilantro. And finally, a dollop of sour cream. And it's ready to eat. Let's give it a try. Mmm. 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 There's a nice smokiness from the adobo tomatoes and I really love how we grated the butternut squash so that it cooks faster and the texture just is really delightful. I love how it adds a little bit of a, just texture to the soup. I've never had that before and I really dig it. And the tortilla strips just add the perfect crunch. I really, really like this meal, you guys. And the great thing about Green Chef is that it gives you options to make meal planning easy from week to week. If you guys are interested in trying out Green Chef, there is a $50 off link that I'll put in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think about this recipe and if you would give Green Chef a try. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.